individual prayer, saying, Pass me not, O oh Lord. Utangi hivi, O Mwani. Thank you, my God, and may God bless you with your ministry. Uh, this month, July, has been set aside as a month of stewardship revival. It is a month that we are talking about stewardship. The General Conference has said three months in a year, February, July, and December, as months of our stewardship emphasis. We had a month of stewardship emphasis in a February. And another month of stewardship emphasis has come through in July. Another month will come as we'll be concluding the year in December. You can imagine three months in a year put aside for stewardship. Meaning there is something that the conference wants us to do. Something that the general conference wants us to learn. Something that the general conference wants us to improve on. The members say, the goodness of stewardship is that it is, a, a, it is something that uh, brings or teaches us to be faithful to our God, teaches us to be honest before Him who loved us, before Him who created us. Let me walk with you on the journey that we are on. It's a journey that does not consider numbers. It's a journey that considers you and you and your God alone. When we shall stand before the judgment city of God, we shall not have groups, we shall not be in groups, we shall not be in churches, but we shall stand as an individual. Let me walk with you, O oh Lord. The title for today is saying, a steward is honest. Act faithfully to the master. But our title for the message is saying, let me walk with you. Let me walk with you. Well, then our Bible was the book of Genesis chapter 39, verses 5 to 10. The Bible says, And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, that his master's wife cast, eye, cast her eyes upon Joseph, and said, Lie with me. Verse 8. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wanted not what is with me in the house, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. Yeah, verse 9. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither has he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? In this life, beloved, there are so many troubles that we go through. In this life, beloved, there are so many pains that we go through. There are times that you would think your fellow church member would come to help and they will not help. There are times and sorrows that even your fellow brothers and sisters will not help. There are situations in life that do not need any human pity, any human sympathy, but simply needs God. In this life, whenever you are troubled, in this life, whenever you are in need of something, do not tend to the human being. Much as our fellow human beings can help us, but the best and greatest help comes from afar. Yes. When Joseph realized that there is a God in heaven, he walked without any more sorrow from his heart. He went down to Egypt where he was sold to Potiphar. Potiphar was the chief security officer of the, of, of the Egyptian king, Pharaoh. The truth of point is that Joseph was a faithful and honest steward. He was a faithful and steward and, 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 and honest and honest steward. Someone who, who may ask, how did Joseph demonstrate faithful uh, in faithfulness in his steward, in his stewardship? The answer to that is that Joseph managed the field, the, the field of Potiphar under his control and God 
President Potiphar's field. The Bible clearly puts it that the Potiphar was blessed because of Joseph. And because of Joseph, every person under the house of Potiphar was also blessed. As the steward, as a child of God, we are channels of blessing. We are channels of blessing. As a child of God, we should never be channels of confusion. Where you are, when people see you joining their company, they even stop talking. He has come. You can't say anything in his or her presence. You hear it from elsewhere tomorrow. Not with Joseph. He, he turned out to be a blessing to every person who, who comes into contact with him. Come. Joseph looked at her and said, How can I do such a thing? My master has entrusted everything he has in this house. He has given everything under my care except you. Why? Because you are his wife. How then can I lie down with you and do such a thing? Okay, if I can lie with you, but how would I commit such a sin before my God? As a steward, Joseph was faithful on this point. Faithfulness among men, faithfulness among women. Faithfulness is what God needs from us. But alas, many times we fail to be faithful to our God. Many times we fail to honor his word. Many times we fail to do that says the Lord. Not with Joseph. In life we must be like Joseph. Faithful to him. In life we must be honest. In life we must be trustworthy. Trustworthy in a, in, in a manner that even when something is held against you, people start and say, no, he can't do such a thing. People will defend you. People will defend you. People will argue on your behalf. People will talk even before you talk. You got to find something. Which is in the honesty, all honest must be at 50 quarts. But because you have money, you don't care, you don't mind. You want to buy it at 20 quarts. To, to misuse your, your, your privilege. Taking advantage of your wealth to suppress others. Just because you know he's anxious to the need of money, he needs the money to use it today. You say, no, I can just get it at 20 quarts. The poor brother gives it away, not willingly, but simply saying, what will I do if I don't get the 20 quarts? Misusing our advantages, misusing our blessings. Not with Joseph. Only if you stay at the door and keep the boundaries between humanity and God. If you are not careful, brothers and sisters, you do not see the demarcation between what is divine and what is human. You cannot see what belongs to God and what belongs to you. You cannot differentiate between what is holy and what is unholy. You can do whatever you want because it is your mind. In life and in the area of stewardship, once we, do, once we fail to differentiate what is holy and unholy, what is godly and ungodly, we will have failed our stewardship. As a heavenly bound steward, a heavenly bound steward is one who acts faithfully and honestly to instructions given by God. Faithfully and honestly to instructions given by God. Are you among the people that are perfectly following the instructions given by our God? Our God has given us instructions. Instructions on how to, to take care of the sick. Instructions on how to visit the sick in hospitals. Instructions on how to do good to others even as we would want them to and trust. Instructions on how to be perfectly steward. But are we Honestly, following these principles given to us by God. Many are times and great times that the Lord has blessed us and we, do, and we do not want to be faithful to Him. God is looking for men and women who shall be faithful to Him. 
Desire, desire.